business mindset of time versus money. Guys, I've just pulled over because I wanted to quickly record this video for you. Um, you know, I'm on the way to work and I've got my human charges in, charging myself up for the day. Um, getting ready for a big day. Now, <clears throat> a lot of people ask me this thing and they go, Kim, you know, when it comes to business, when it comes to looking at your mindset and things like that, what does this principle of time versus money mean? Um, which is a great question, right? I'm just getting sprinkled on here by the sprinklers of my new clean car. That's great. Um, but so that's a great example, right, to tie into this. Let's say that I'm going to get my car cleaned, right? I could personally sit and clean my car very, very easily. I could sit around and clean it, and it would probably take me maybe an hour, right? Maybe an hour because I've got to clean the roof. I've got to clean all the windows. I've got to clean the interior. I've got to clean the tires. I've got to blacken the tires. I've got to do all this. I've got to basically wash it, chamois it, all that sort of stuff. That is a lot of time. Or I can spend $60, take it to a car cleaner, and they'll clean it for me in 30 minutes. In that 30 minutes, I can spend time doing, because you know they've got six, seven people working on it, I can spend time doing calls, I can spend time checking ads, I can spend time connecting with my team, I can do a lot of other things. So that is just one simple example of looking at time versus money, but when it comes to marketing, what a, a lot of people forget is they try and jump in and figure things out, right? And this is why it's important. I'll run through a few things when I get to the office for you guys, but why it's important to really think about because they try and spend all this time figuring things out when they've never done it before, they haven't really done it effectively before, and they think that suddenly it's just going to click for them and magic is going to happen. And I hate to say it, but it's not the case. It takes a lot of hours. This is all 10,000 hour principle. It takes to become an expert on anything that will literally take you. You know, I, I reckon I've probably done... Oh, uh, I've probably done more than 10,000. I'd probably be closer to 20,000 hours running ads, um, looking at marketing strategies, copy, things like that, right? So, and I'm still learning. I'm the, by no means an expert. I'm still learning it all. Um, but I spend money as well to accelerate my time. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, I will rather pay someone who is an expert at something to tell me it, to teach me it, to show me it, rather than spending time, because time is a finite resource. I only have so much time in a day that I can use, as opposed to money I can spend, money I can make back, spend more money to get your car washed again because you just got sprayed with sprinklers again, um, right? But that's a finite resource, time. Right, I'm gonna run through a few more things on what and how you can use time versus money in just a second and head into the office now. You know, don't record and drive, guys. Gotta be safe. Um, so I'm gonna head in the office now and I'll explain to you guys a little bit more about what that looks like and how you can approach that as well. Let's go. Hey guys, so we're back in the office now. I've been hustling away for a couple of hours and I wanna come back, circle back and touch on those points when it comes to that time versus money conundrum. How do you work out what to do? How do you figure out how you can then take the next step and what to do about it? Well, the simplest way is going to sound a little bit weird, but we got to do some quick math, right? We've got to figure it out and understand what, first of all, is your time worth, right? What is your time worth? So you, the easiest way to do it, and for some of you, this may scare you, is you need to figure out exactly what your hourly rate is. So if you're running your own business, this is probably gonna scare you a little bit. Because what you need to do is you need to input the total number of hours that you put in versus the total number of dollars that you take out of the business. So let's just say that you take out $100,000 from your business. So I'm gonna quickly bring up a calculator to make sure that I get this right, right? So if we're gonna bring $100,000 out, and let's just say that you work 50 hours a week, you're out there hustling, you're out there making things happen in your business, right? So you're working 50 hours a week and you take one week off, right? Let's just say you take off Christmas week. That means 51 weeks a year, you're hustling, you're working. So let's do the quick math. 51 times 50 means that over a year, you're doing 2,550 hours, right? 2,550 hours. Then if we divide that by that cheeky 100,000, 2550, you're earning 39 bucks an hour. Not super exciting, right? You're only $39 an hour. That's not too bad, right? You're only $39 an hour. So what you need to figure out is if you're taking 100 grand out of that business, anything, anything that is not worth $39 an hour to you, like probably cleaning, doing the dishes, uh, doing your bookkeeping, 
you need to outsource that to someone else. You need to take that time away and focus on something else. Now, when I look at things, I always look at it as a $500 an hour task because in an hour, I could be on the phone making a sale, I could be on the phone doing something. That is so important to me, building a joint venture relationship which could bring me hundreds of thousands of dollars. So for me, if it's not worth $500 an hour, I need to outsource that. I need to send that to someone else to focus on. I need to free up my time to focus on the most highly valuable thing. So I'm more than happy to pay someone I'm more than happy to invest money to reclaim that time. I'm more than happy to send that to someone else to do so that I can reclaim that time and ensure that I am getting the most out of my time. So when I'm thinking about things, I don't think about how long it's going to take me. I think about what it's going to cost me to get it done. What will it cost me to send that to someone, to outsource it, to get someone else to focus on that versus me having to sit there, work out, focus on a menial task, whatever that might be. Unless I enjoy it. If I enjoy it, I'll do it. But if I don't, then I want to focus on really focusing my time, energy, and effort on the most high value things. So think about it when it comes to your marketing. For you to figure out a Facebook ad, set it up, run it, uh, optimize it, make sure that it's working, you know, stay up to date with all the changes that are happening. It's a lot of time that you will invest when really, for probably not that much, you can get someone who is an expert, someone who is highly skilled in that key area to focus on that for you right? So for me, when I'm weighing it up, I go, what is the time versus money investment? And for me, I'll invest money every time over time. So I can have more time to focus on business growth, winning awards like the Two Comma Club Award, the uh, Marketing Hall of Fame Award. I'll focus on that rather than focus on my new small things that are going to take up my time, energy, and effort. So I highly recommend that you do that audit and work out what is your hourly rate and then how can you outsource those other key things so that you can focus on increasing that? Because if it's less than $100 an hour, number one, maybe you should get a job. Or oh, number two, if you're a business owner, it's less than $100 an hour, maybe you should focus on allocating those key tasks to other people. Allocating those key, whether it's marketing, whatever it is for you, operations, send that to someone else so you can focus on increasing that hourly rate and decreasing the amount of time you spend and increasing the amount of money you spend instead. Because the more time that you have that you can spend on the business rather than in the business means that you'll be able to grow your business at a more rapid pace. Okay, so guys, for today, that's your homework. Comment below and let me know what is your hourly rate? What are you gonna get it to? Hope you guys enjoyed today. As always, make sure that you like, comment, subscribe. Let us know what you thought. Subscribe so you get all these videos first before anyone else. And of course, give us a thumbs up like if you liked it as well. Until next time, guys, I'm Kim Barrett. See you all very soon. Adios.